Good morning, everybody. A new day, a cold day, minus 20-something, perfect for another PHEV test. All right, so this morning we're going to do a bit of a different test. I'm going to leave the heat on. We'll get to the temperature once we drive, and I can show you it's minus 20, I don't know what, but it's blooming cold out. We're going to leave the heat on. I want to do a 4x4 test and eco mode together. So we're going to put both of those on, drive through town. We're not going to hit the highway. And I just want to do our regular uh, battery route test and see how far we get. So let's go give it a run and we'll talk PHEV. We're going to lock the uh, four wheel drive button, eco mode. There they are. Up here at the top, you can see eco, lock, EV. And away we go. The heat is on and the gasometer is reading 23 kilometers. We also need to swing by Mitsubishi and make an appointment to get this charging system looked at. Uh, as I discovered last night, the charging timers that I have set are not working. The car is charging every time I plug it in, even if it's a restricted time. So I'm not sure what is going on there. There is something wrong with the car, with the charging in the car. You guys who watch the channel know that months ago I set up a timer for 7 o'clock at night because that's when it gets cheap rates. And I noticed the other day when I came home and plugged the car in, in the afternoon, it was charging and I didn't have time to look at it. Tonight I just came home. It is 6.30, 6.29. And the car, I plugged it in and it is charging because the blue light is flashing. It should be a solid blue light. I also wanted to talk a minute about the last couple of videos um, where we did the 4x4 testing in the snow. And so what I want to point out that everyone seems to kind of miss is the performance we got there for this SUV is maybe a little bit lower than typical for an all-wheel drive SUV, but not much, guys. These are not four-wheel drive trucks. Um, the reason they get stuck is because they get hung up. So it's not the four-wheel drive capability. In this case, it is a little bit limited where I think we're missing a little bit of power even with the uh, active stability control turned off. I believe personally there should be more power and I think Mitsubishi is addressing that with the 2019 because it has a sport mode which I'm guessing is going to also turn off that active yaw control because when you're in deep snow and sand you want you don't want it switching from side to side as one tire slipping because you can't get out as I showed in the last video so I just wanted to point out that it's not the end of the world, the performance that I showed in those two videos. Um, I think that's pretty typical of an SUV. Minus 28 degrees Celsius. I told you, it's a cold one. Oh yeah, look at all of that. Carbon monoxide, poisonous spewing. You can tell it's cold this morning. Look at the exhaust from everybody's car. That's just nasty. Winter shows you how bad driving really is for us. When you can actually see all of the stuff coming out of the tailpipes. And I look behind my car and I see nothing. Makes me feel good. Yeah, so I don't know if I mentioned it this morning or not, but I received a, an update notice in the mail from Mitsubishi that my BMU needed an update. So. We'll stop at Mitsubishi and get that done, and we'll mention the uh, charging timer as well. So I'm actually down at Mitsubishi North Bay. We had to put a little hold on the trip here for 45 minutes. They said they could get the car in this morning to do a BMU um, update, which hopefully would fix my charging issue that I was having. So I don't know if you guys can see that. We are at Mitsubishi. It's just the car is all frosted up here now. Minus 28 this morning, minus 40 with the wind chill. So that's nasty. Um, I was talking to Kyle, my service guy, and he showed me he was laughing because we were talking about the comments on the uh, channel about the battery warming system in the 2018. We still have guys, even though Kyle posted that uh, there is a separate battery heater for the North American 2018, um, guys are still saying, no, there isn't. Well, he actually showed me the confidential images, pictures. I can verify now, guys, there is a battery warming unit, a separate unit on the 2018 North American model. 
And I'll just read the blurb that was uh, that came beside it to give you the information. So, battery warming system is accomplished using a positive coefficient heater controlled by the BMU. It heats air in the drive battery using electricity from either the charge cable, so when it's plugged in charging, or the drive battery when the unit is running, Kyle says. That's a clarification. So if the car were sitting outside not plugged in, the battery warming unit would not work. It has to be running to work off of the drive battery. But if your car is plugged in, it works. The system will keep uh, the battery above minus 10 degrees Celsius or minus 14 degrees Fahrenheit when it's running off of the battery. And when it's running off of the charge cable, it keeps the system warmer than minus 5.5 Celsius or minus 22 degrees Fahrenheit. That should be the end of story. The 2018 North American model does have a separate battery warming unit. So to reiterate, because you guys are gonna ask me, yes, I actually saw official Mitsubishi internal documents showing schematics of a heater and how it worked. So it's there. All right, 11 kilometers in, and the gasometer is showing 10 kilometers left, so. All right, we have the strangeness that we had before on our other really cold day test, guys. The engine has kicked on for no apparent reason. Well, there has to be a reason, whether it's to warm the oil or whatever it is, but uh, no doing of my own. And here we are just waiting for the engine to do its uh, warm-up cycle started running at 9.41. Last time I believe it was three or four minutes that it ran and then it shut off and it didn't run again for the whole test. So we'll see if it does the same pattern again today. Actually, no, it just shut off uh, 9.42. So it only ran probably just over one minute there. All right, back on with the test. At the halfway point of the test, I'll just show you guys, it's probably a good time to uh, look at the battery temperatures. So minimum temperature is minus three and the maximum temperature is three. And that's at minus 40 degrees Celsius today with wind. So I guess we can confirm that on really chilly days, like minus 25 degrees Celsius or lower, there are times when the engine is just gonna kick on for a minute here or there. I've had get every speculation from guys saying they think, uh, you know, maybe it's warming up the oil a little bit or it's uh, charging batteries to uh, the drive battery because the heated seats are on. All kinds of theories. I don't know what it is. Personally, I subscribe to the theory that uh, it is keeping the oil warmed up and viscous. It's just so cold out that uh, the oil would thicken right up and the engine isn't running we're in electric mode so that's what I'm subscribing to whether it's right or not I don't know but it makes sense I also wanted to mention that I read the uh, newspaper uh, for the first time in many years there was a newspaper on the table while I was waiting for them to finish the car and right on the front page of course is a climate uh, control uh, greenhouse gas story front page stating that in 2018 uh, CO2 parts per million breached the 410 mark, which is uh, the worst it's ever been. 60 points above what a safe uh, atmosphere, atmospheric level of CO2 should be. So I was mentioning this morning on the way into the Mitsubishi about the exhaust from all the cars and that, and it just seemed fitting that I read that article. We really need to wake up as a society, and I appreciate every one of you guys watching the channel that are showing interest and making the switch to the electric uh, because we've you know we got to do something about it at this point there's I just don't see how people can deny that things are changing at this point the world is becoming a warmer place says the guy who's driving around at minus 40 degrees Celsius <laughs> I could use a little warmth right now <laughs> I never said the channel wasn't ironic let's drive around and complain about global warming in minus 40 degrees Celsius. <laughs> uh, right here at the end of the test, the engine has kicked on again. We were down to one kilometer and uh, the engine is running again, so. This time it, it didn't run very long again. It was uh, 30 seconds to a minute.
There we go, EV mode canceled. 23.9 kilometers. Again, that test was full heat, seated heat, four by four lock with eco mode. Uh, so we're getting right in that range that I've been saying all winter, 23 to 25 kilometers with the heat on. Um, you're gonna ask me why I bothered to turn eco mode on because you guys know I don't believe in eco mode. I did it because everyone's always asking me to do it. But if we were to run that test again tomorrow, we would get the same numbers with eco mode turned off. So 23 to 25 kilometers, even with the four x four lock on, because as I mentioned earlier, this car is pretty much in four wheel drive or all wheel drive all the time. And I'll just show you guys the uh, eco information screen. Three liters per hundred kilometers because the engine did kick on a couple of times. 82%. 81% driving and average consumption 35.8 kilowatt hours per 100 We're gonna restart the car um, Well not actually start it, but just I forgot to check if this update that they did deleted my uh, timers or not and We'll take a look at that and then we're gonna test plugging in the car to see if that fixed the problem we were having So no, it didn't erase my uh, charging timers. So let's shut the car down, get out and plug it in and see if it's actually working again the way it should work, which is don't charge unless it's seven o'clock PM. All right, fingers crossed. Hey, it's working again, look at that. And you can tell because the light doesn't flash three times. And the blue light over here is steady. The car is fixed. You guys are aware of the battery. You saw my mileage. That's all I've got. Thanks for watching, guys. <laughs>